So I heard you want to beat the Lost Sector fast. Let me now I'll be running this Lost Sector with a very specific build that I made a whole video on. I'll briefly describe the build in this video, but I highly recommend watching the build video to fully understand how to utilize it. The link to that will be in the description. The exotic armor in rotation today will also be in the top line of the description on this video. And with that out of the way, let's hop right into the guide. Alright, so for today's build we're going to be using my Arc Warlock build with Sanguine Alchemy. Now this build is absolutely insane, it is actually in my opinion the best build for Warlock this season. For our weapons, we're going to be using the Hand Cannon to stun Unstoppable Champions. Cold Heart is here because of its heavy damage and heavy build synergy along with stunning Overload Champions, and the Swarm is also here for that heavy damage and heavy build synergy. Now there is so much going on with this build, so guys, I highly recommend checking out the full video before continuing with this guide. I mean, we're talking about 25% damage resistance, infinitely, 17% damage boost, infinitely, infinite turrets, infinite heal rips definitely gonna want to check that out but with that being said let's hop right into the guide all right now the first thing you're gonna do when you enter this lost sector is plop your rift down that's gonna give you the 17 percent damage bonus and then we are gonna melt the unstoppable with our machine gun now keep in mind we are doing this 30 levels under power and you see how damn fast it is dying now on top of that you're gonna want to keep watch out for the sniper i do actually recommend killing the sniper before you deal with the unstoppable or you could just hold this cover that I am, but you know, just to be safe, it is a good idea to actually kill that sniper. Now, you saw the Ionic Trace come to us. At this point, we have 25% damage resist from one of the artifact perks. Now we're gonna take care of the sniper. He's gonna shoot those projectiles at us, but we did have that nice cover. And then right here, we're gonna have to clear out the rest of the room before we can move forward. Now you can try running past them, but I don't recommend it. Not without killing at least a couple adds, because they just they, they do a lot of damage, guys. Unless you're running this at 1830, which I do recommend, you're gonna to want to be as high power as possible. If you're running this at 1830, you probably can just run past everything. Uh Invis Hunters, especially, this lost sector is just so damn fast for you guys. I mean, this might be the fastest lost sector in the game, to be honest, regardless of your class. But if you are running this on Invis Hunter, it will take off at least 30 seconds, even up to a minute, depending on how fast you melt these guys. But as you can see, we ran through them really damn easily, and now we're going to proceed forward. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is stun this unstoppable champion, because if you let him run, he actually runs to the other side of the lost sector. And honestly, when he does that, it completely ruins the pacing of the lost sector. I, I honestly would consider restarting because it's just so annoying to deal with him when he's on the other side of the map. Now our stun didn't go off just then, unfortunately because we are not using glaives, you know, hand cannons are not as reliable, but it's no problem at all. We'll just stand right in his face, we have this nice rock to cover us from the shield throws. All these thrall are on top of us, but we are just taking no damage because of the 25% damage resist, plus obviously the healing from our rift. We did get hit by that second one, but it's no problem. We'll just head right back up. We are in our rift, getting that damage bonus, and we are able to just absolutely fry him with our cold heart here, and boom, he's dead. Now, there's going to be one more unstoppable that spawns, and there's going to be some more thrall as well. Now, re remember, you're going to want to make sure to stun him as fast as possible. I got lucky this time around. He was actually aggroed on me, but... If you don't pay attention to the Unstoppable, he will run across the room and it'll be much more annoying to deal with him. So we got his attention, we're going to go for the stun right at his feet, got him really easily, and then we're just going to absolutely melt him with our cold heart, like I said. Uh, this, this position is just fantastic. Again, I mean, guys, if he's running across the room, it's just, it's not worth it. It's going to add on at least two minutes to your run. I mean, you don't need to restart, but it's going to be super annoying. But again, we're just dealing with them so easily. I mean, the Thrall are running at us, but it doesn't really matter. They're not doing much damage. He is giving us a bit of trouble because we need to dodge the Thrall and deal with him. But there we go. We got him. And now it is just the boss, guys. We've killed all the champions in the Lost Sector that matter. Now, there is one more Unstoppable, or there is an Overload left, but I don't really recommend fighting that Overload. It doesn't really add too much score, and it's going to add much more time than necessary. So I don't kill that last overload that's on top, but you guys can if you want to. You'll just deal with him with your cold heart at that point. But what we're doing here is we're getting an optimal position. Now, what I what I used to do in this lost sector is deal with this, uh, this boss from the other side of the map, but we're running a more close range build, and I really like this because it's going to show you what to do if you are not running, you know, a bow, a sniper, blah, blah, blah. Now, if you want to be safe running this lost sector, I do have old guides 
on the Chamber of Starlight where I am running a more long range build. You can go check those out. Those are on my channel from a couple weeks ago from last season. Uh, They're still very relevant, obviously. Um, but yeah, what we're doing here is we're just going to clear out as many ads as possible and then we are going to deal with the boss. We're just waiting for a bit of regen, waiting for that fire to disappear. And then we're going to re-peak. Actually, it seems like I'm waiting for my rift for that nice 17% damage bonus. The second that that's up, we're going to peek out, deal with the ads that are in the way, and we'll start beaming down the boss whenever we have an opening. Going to have to duck back. But again, we have the 25% damage resist. We have the healing from our rift. So despite taking heavy damage, we are just able to trade here. Now, keep in mind, there is a sniper in the back. So I do recommend getting that nice void resist. And it seems like the boss is shooting out some fire projectiles. So definitely going to want the solar resist mods on your chest. But, yeah, from this point, we could just pop our super, and he will just absolutely be melted. Seems like I, I was trying to make a statement here. I don't need my... Oh, there it goes. <laughs> and we'll just pop the super for the win. Really easy lost sectors today, guys. Definitely one of the fastest in the game, so don't miss out on it. And that's going to be the guide, guys. Don't forget to watch the build video. Hopefully this helped. If it did, be sure to subscribe as I post lost sector guides daily. Either way, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next video. Peace.